Hello, Galaxy. I'm Chris Perillo, Mary Sithmas. Hey, <laughs> Diana. Diana's holding the camera. I was going to say that we super glued our faces together, but. Okay, we super glued our faces together. Pretend that they weren't pulled apart a second ago. Uh, all right, let's no. go ahead and show everybody what we've got today. No? Yeah. Yes? Maybe? Nah. Yeah? Nah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Jedi wanted to play with a, a small thrifting hall, so we dumped it out and put it here to the right of us. All right, Jedi, that means you can play with this for the remainder of the video. <laughs> uh, this is a, a set of micro machines and I believe action fleet vehicles and figurines. And so uh, it was just kind of a grab bag. These uh, are mini heads. I didn't collect them when they were brand new, not just the micro machines, but the action fleets. Uh, these are all very, very tiny. Micro machines used to be a big thing back in the day, but it was largely just uh, regular old like city vehicles. Uh, it wasn't until years later when uh, they got the uh, uh, Star Wars license or at least Galoob got the Star Wars license that they started to produce the Star Wars vehicles and figurines. So uh, the uh, idea behind uh, getting one of these kind of uh, hauls is that you would get a whole bunch of things for super cheap, and that's exactly what happened. These heads open up. If I can, if I can open it, Jedi was doing a good job with them. And they usually come with a figure, so a few of them came with a figure. One of them, I think, didn't. The boosh did not come with a figure. <laughs> but uh, Jedi was having fun with these. They all came in the tin. Super cheap. Uh, I do not have the full collection, and I am not close to getting the full collection, nor am I even going to attempt Dad, to Dad, get the full collection. Yeah? Can you show them the boosh? Absolutely. Go for it. Boosh. Inside. It's boosh. Yeah. But there was nothing in there. Nope. Still, you know, not bad. For the price, not bad at all. Can I try that word again? Absolutely. I'll go back and edit that. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, we're doing the whisper thing again. <laughs> what's, what's the whisper thing? Oh, okay, we'll, we'll come back over here. It's okay. She's saying absolutely not. Uh, what? Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, fine. You should open them all up. Well, I'm curious to see what they look like. Okay, there's the Greedo. She already opened the Boosh. The Jawa. They're like little Polly Pockets. Yep. Kind of, yeah. I'm going to show this one. Okay. They're Starry Pockets. This is Nynumb. Oh, I have miniature things. My favorite. Portuguese, I think. In Return of the Jedi. Yeah, and these yeah, figures, yeah, super yeah. tiny. Like, there's a Grand Admiral Thrawn. Here's a, a Jedi over here. These are I legends. <laughs> or a lar or large part of these are, are legends. As in, not canon. Super tiny figurines. Yeah. <laughs> don't tell me I need to find more. Yes. Diana, yes. don't <laughs> tell me I need to find more because yes, I will. Yes, yes, yes. I see <sighs> miniature... <laughs> Oh no. They're so cute. Don't send me down this rabbit hole. I love yes. the detail. Yeah, I'm sorry, I was going to grab a couple others because you're not focusing on those. And I know that these excite me, and apparently they now excite you. Whoa. So I believe, hang on, uh, I believe th this uh, Pona Baba is an action fleet because he actually bends at the waist versus, let's say, this. Pona uh, Baba! Uh, this, Baba! I don't know. This looks like a. I can say it a million times. Looks like it's. I know you can. It uh, looks Pony like it's a Leia, uh, Princess Leia, but I don't think it is. But this is an action fleet scale versus the uh, micro machine scale. So you can see one is a little Dad? taller, different uh, levels of articulation on action fleet versus micro machines. FYI, no my, no uh, articulation on uh, on micro machines. But cool. you know whether it's legends or um, it's canon. Yeah, I mean if I know it's Star Wars, I'm now prone to uh, picking it up. Came in this tin too. I already had the tin. It's a little beat up, but that's okay. That means we just get to use it for something else. Maybe we use it for our pending new collection of <laughs> fleet and micro machines. Dad? Yeah? Um, I got a question. What? 
I can say Puerto Baba a million times. Go for it. But with is my, that a question? With my, with my dolls. I really think Diana's Porn Baba. fascinated with this. <laughs> no, Porn it's okay. Baba. Don't apologize. I'm just like, okay, I was like ready to move on like <laughs> I spent five a minutes ago. Too and much time on. <laughs> not complaining because if this is what it takes, you, you'll go down the rabbit hole. I'll send you some searches. Like yeah? they, they have like pull like fleet, like figurine sets. Oh. Like of Rebel Soldiers, you see them every so often thrifting. Uh, th this is kind of like, it's not vintage, it's modern yeah. in, in terms of the era split. Uh, like my vintage Micro Machines would have been um, the, oh, what did they call them? Now I'm blanking. Um, they only had a few play sets and the figurines were die cast. They were also Micro though. Not Micro Machines, but like Micro. Yeah, because she has the little ones. What are those? The ones upstairs that come with little vehicles. Oh, the squishy ones? Mm -hmm. Those are um, those are Hasbro's Action Force. No, but they the renamed them. In her jewelry box, the one that we use for her jewelry box. No, yeah, yeah. You're thinking yeah, uh, they're squishy. Yeah, yeah. The, they're they're rubbery. Uh, they used to be not battle rollers. God, they've had so many yeah. names over the years. And now I, I'm again I'm blanking on the series name because they renamed it was called like Force Action Force or something Force. Do you know where they are, baby? Uh, what? Your your Do collection of them? your itty bitties. No, your you know the, their little figurines. You mean the, you have Toradoza and a few Chewbaccas, and some of them are blue and some of them are red. I think they're by your Duplo. They used to be in like the Chewbacca zippy bag, so I I don't know where yeah. they got. Moved but to. I was gonna say I like these better. Oh. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I was not expecting on spending all day talking about it, but <laughs> I am fine with that. Like, anytime that we can engage on this, like, I'm yeah. thrilled. This is just the beginning. I mean, yeah. of what that world is as well as what I uh, what I had stacked over here. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll talk okay. about expanding this. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the eBay is a very dangerous place. Yes, yeah. you can, honey. Keep playing. You're, 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 eBay? Yeah. <laughs> eBoy. From, you know, Ralph Breaks the Internet. And they go to knows more to what? ask questions if they don't know. Remember? <laughs> it's okay to ask questions uh, of the Internet if you don't know. Uh, okay, next thing I'm going to show you is something that uh, we didn't have for this year at least. I thought I had a Lego set of a, a Christmas tree before, but it's either been lost to time or disassembled or something. Uh, but this is a new creator series uh, bag, so there are no minifigures inside. But they're selling these poly bags now uh, right around $5, which is up from 4 which is a little disappointing. Oh. Uh, but given that we did not have a, a Lego tree out, like a decorated tree, hang on, Hilly, uh, I, I just grabbed it so that, that you guys could put it together, Jedi could put yeah. it together. Yeah, she's been going like gangbusters with Lego. I knew you were. I knew you were the Wookiees. Oh. I, well, I help the Wookiees. The Wookiees bring things. Remember, I'm like the traitor from the Star Wars Holiday Special? Yeah, I know. You're the Wookiees. I'm not the Wookiees. Do I look like a Wookiee? Yes. Here I do, but the, like, <laughs> the rest of me, uh, she's been going like gangbusters yeah. with Lego. Anything Let's crack it like open. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I want to keep moving on. I, no, I, I mean, so she can play with it well. Uh, or free build. Okay, but well, that's what we oh, had this over here for, because I want to try to keep the pieces intact. I'm, I'm yeah. going to build it. Well, we're keeping all the Christmas stuff Okay, here. okay, hang on. Let's uh, go ahead and clean this up first because we like cleaning up what we're playing with before moving on. Or at least Daddy does. Yeah. Uh, because that way things don't get mixed up. All right, that is now cleaned up. You got that? Perfect. She's going to build a tree. I am going to show you what else was built today. Hey, you gonna open it. Oh, I didn't realize <laughs> you couldn't get it. I almost had it with one hand. Okay, there you go. Perfect. Now keep these pieces here, a lot of tiny pieces, uh, so that we, we have a full tree. Yeah. Woo. And if you want to like build on your own, which she does all the time, trust me, you have so many loose bricks. Yeah. Uh, then we can use other pieces. I'm confused. Like uh, start with step number one. You'll yeah, get we could it. do it together, but we could just can free build for a minute. Oh yeah, free build. Okay, free build and right now, we'll... and then we'll, we'll we'll take her apart. So here, what we have is. 
the from the Lego Advent calendars today, City and Friends and uh, Star Wars. So this is a working Dad. helicopter, mostly mostly working. Ah. There's a Star Wars. Aww. Yeah, there is right here. No, Sith, it's in Sith the Trooper. Tree. I know. So like. The Sith Trooper Star Wars. I put the extra flower on Are you there. sad? Oh, okay, that's fine. It doesn't come with No, I'm not sad. Why would I be sad? sad. I'm, not, I'm not sad. Look, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy because this minifigure right here is, is a good army builder right here. Yep. The Sith Trooper. Uh, there was a Sith Trooper uh, pack you could get or recently could get for like $12. And... Uh, uh, that's a good price for a four pack of, of minifigures, but there's only one Sith Trooper in it. So getting another Sith Trooper is, is really, really nice. Maybe when it goes on sale further, I'd get another one to, to army build. But uh, yeah. Dad, Love I the put Sith this Trooper. one on. Oh, what? Oh, the that? Yeah, it's, a, it's his walkie talk. Great idea. His red walkie talk. Exactly. It matches the rest of his uniform. I'm telling you, Lego. Yeah. It is awesome. Uh, I'm so, 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 so glad it's in our life. Uh, I am going to show you now the next three things. We've got our uh, mini brands and the... What uh, this comes right now. What? Oh, we, yeah. Okay. So we've got our mini brands. This is Smarties, but it was different today than it was uh, oh. the other day. So a variation. We also have uh, Brainy Brian for the, from the Garbage Pill Kids acrylic set. And then a Bot Bot Maraca. <laughs> yeah. So let me go ahead and transform him. He doesn't shake, but you know you can pretend. It's a little maraca. I'm telling you, they have just about every object. Maraca, maraca. So there's that array, maraca. and uh, this is uh, for the last uh, of the advent calendars, really, for the Lego Star Wars pin set exclusives. That's cute. Yeah. Why are pins so popular with I Star Wars? I don't know. I mean, with Disney pins are popular. This is not a Disney pin. It is an it is a licensed pin uh, set. Uh, I you know I collect just about anything if it's something yeah. that's going what? to run exclusive in, uh, exclusive I should say. And these went to. exclusive. But Sorry, it's like the first thing to I, sell out every time. I was paying. It, it is, and I was paying attention to what Jedi was saying. Jedi was oh. saying this is. He's He's using magic and he doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> Very nice. It's a cool little magic wand. And he's seeing. You see it? Yeah, yeah he's seeing it. So you don't actually wear the pins. You cut I them. don't, no. I mean, others do. They, they have like lanyards and, and, and what oh, have you. Yeah, or yeah. they use like boards and yeah. then pin them up. Uh, you know, there, there are a lot of pins out there that are licensed. And even unlicensed pins are pretty cool. I've got a few unlicensed pins uh, because they, they're neat, unique, uh, they were a good price, you know, what have you. But um, eh, it's it's a mix. I mean, I that's the thing is like if th th I try if I'm if I'm going to get something, I try to stick with the, the licensed products because generally speaking, it's it was something that was sanctioned versus a bootleg, which you know sometimes could be of le leg. sometimes be of lesser quality a bill and a leg yes something like that <laughs> something like that now speaking of uh exclusive oh, that's pretty. and uh licensed and brand new today disney is now doing these uh these are keys they don't actually open anything the only uh, other key that i've seen in the store this is available in store and online um, was the the blue lightsaber that may the fourth be with you? And then there was another Star Wars key that was issued, but it was just like way too way too exclusive, meaning way too pricey. Uh, but this one was a little over ten, I know and what so pricey means. we picked it up. What way does it mean? Too, way it's the opposite of cheap. Way too pricey. Cheap is on one end, and pricey is on the other end. Expensive is pricey. Cheap is affordable. Daddy likes the affordable. But when it comes, you know, to like, oh, this is a neat exclusive. Yeah, that's pretty. I love that color green. Oh, I looks need good. To stand. Oh, awesome, honey. I'm gonna keep moving on if you don't mind. You can keep building, keep building, and then we'll share. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a pop of a Knight of Ren. It is heavy blade, yeah, but, and even though there is an official name for this one, it's metallic. I mean, when I say an official name, I mean, like, the character actually has a name. I just can't remember it. Uh, I have stopped with the pops altogether. 
pretty much. Yeah. Why did I get this one? Well, because it was on sale for four bucks. So oh. I kind of had no choice. Wow. Like it was calling to me and I figured, oh, that's kind of uh, got a luster to it. That's pretty neat. Yeah. It has a Darth Vader feel. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, every, uh, pretty much every Knight of Rem is uh, somewhat inspired by it. Honey, baby, yeah. sweetie. Thanks I for like the it. scalp massage. <laughs> I appreciate it. Oh, yeah. we should show her weighted blanket because she like, when I put it on her, she says, it feels like a massage. <laughs> her baby Yoda blink weighted blanket. I'm serious. Uh, okay, don't move. Uh, I'm trying not to move. <laughs> I'm just kidding. not thinking. Uh, Jedi is the best at scalp massages. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Uh, I needed that. <laughs> on, on a Monday, oh, I needed that. Oh yeah. Tell them how you started off your day. Spilling coffee, spilling my coffee. I, I po on posted the carpet. A, oh, I know. Even better. <laughs> I posted a poll on Twitter asking what I should do. Should I make a new cuppa, or should I uh, over caffeinate or no stay under, stay under caffeinated? What did I say? Over caffe? I did not over caffeinate myself. And then the third option was something like um, suck it out of the carpet. Oh, I yeah. I ended up just you know, sucking it out. No, of the I yeah with the, with the <laughs> vacuum. Yeah, uh, I did, but mm -hmm. like beyond that, I, I just I moved on. I decided not to have more than one cup. Uh, oh, thanks, honey. This is this is the best. Aww, Talking about so Star Wars stuff and getting Aww. massages, having fun with my family. This is a, this is so awesome. So speaking of awesome, <laughs> what? She smells like cologne. What? She smelled her. Oh, what? McClure, what? I'm sorry. Really sick. I'm sorry. I know it's totally sick. <laughs> um, so I got these in a thrifting bag. Believe it or not, this has been there for like a week or two. I passed on it every oh, single time. Really? I would have passed on it again, but something oh. else happened. This, the bag that these came in, this is the uh, Vader candy dispenser that actually had the candies in the bag until we opened them up a few minutes ago. Uh, a Darth Maul that I believe originally came with a speeder and then uh, a Galactic Force. Dad, does it take off a, your, baby. does it take off on your hands? No, it doesn't. No. Baby, sweetie. And you it, don't it'll wash come your off. hands. It, it'll come yeah. off. I, I don't want my neck to get pulled. Uh, so, um, you'll be okay. Uh, I, I, I believe you'll be fine. Rub it on the carpet. Oh, look at the eyes. They're like sky blue. Possibly. I'm not even sure if I had this Chewbacca. Like, so I passed on them originally because I'm like, it's they're not really a big deal. I've seen them, you know, a thousand times over. Already had the Vader. Already had the Darth Maul. Uh, but it, it the bag actually had something else that will be making an appearance at some point in the. 18 days <laughs> from now, possibly future. FYI. Uh, yesterday, the Wookiees brought uh, some cars we totally forgot to show off. Uh, Diana used to play Mario Kart a bit in the Super Nintendo. Yeah. And uh, Hot Wheels makes a series of uh, Mario characters. So and Donkey Kong. We are working our way through it. I think Donkey Kong must be in Mario Kart. Oh, okay. Uh, that was the one that we opened the other day. So this is uh, the Raccoon Mario, or Tanuki Mario. And then uh, Jedi's been getting food vehicles, Hot Wheels food vehicles. New for 2021, there's a land speeder vehicle on these types of cards for a dollar. Hopefully I'll be able to find one in store. Um, it's different from the Hot Wheels uh, uh, land speeder that, that had been produced prior. What, baby? Oh, okay. And then uh, this uh, was also there in the sink, or the, the pretend sink. And Jedi knew exactly what it was right away. She said, Ghostbusters, mm -hmm. the Ecto-1. Yeah. Yeah. He has even smelled worse. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, I do smell my cologne. Oh, wow, still. <laughs> I put cologne on my head. I know, honey. Smell I have it on my head. Work. Anyway, so uh, Hot Wheels makes a series of these types of vehicles. I meant, I should have grabbed the other ones that I saw a while ago. There's the uh, the Thundercats vehicle and He Man, uh, a He Man vehicle. And I just, I, I went right by him not thinking of it. And then as soon as Jedi was asking about Hot Wheels cars, I'm like, I should have grabbed those. But, you know, hopefully either they'll reissue them or I'll find them, uh, you know, like vehicles from like old movies, like 80s movies, like the DeLorean from Back to the Future. There's a Hot Wheels for that one. 
um, this, you know, uh, other fandoms, Scooby Doo, the Mystery Machine Band. Honey, can you wash your hands? Yeah. Honey, sweetie, can yeah, you get, what, go upstairs? Get your uh, hand Mookie. Your oh, yeah. uh, what is it? I'm, why am I blanking on everything? Um, uh, uh, sanitizer, hand sanitizer. <laughs> she wash her hands. She'd be fine. Yeah. Um, and then when you're done, you can come in here because we've got new ornaments to hang up on the tree. Mm-hmm. I think she's worried because last time she had a reaction to oh, the a cologne. Yeah. yeah. It's okay, hon. Use as much soap as you want. Uh, this was something I didn't realize was released last year. Uh, so how I missed it, I'll never know. Uh, I uh, want to show this is uh, the uh, the full collection, really, minus the three exclusives that weren't listed on there, uh, this Dark Side set. And uh, so since we got the full collection last year, I believe that should be full. may have to do the checklist before in, uh, before too long. Um I figured, oh, well, we better get the other three on there because it's the only way to get, uh, well, this Vader and this particular uh, paint uh, application, mm-hmm. this particular design, uh, th- uh, but it's the only way to get Palpatine and Darth Maul. Happy Maula days. <laughs> and let's see here. I think everyone will be happy with this. Aww, I was so cute. able to find another one, luckily. It was... I, I had to, again. I had to resort to, to going online and spelunking where you can find good bargains. Um, so this is the second one that I was hoping to find. Uh, the Dollar Tree one may have to make do for the third one, depending on how things go. But the, the problem is, I had to pay a slight scalper price for this. Oh. So I had to pay like three dollars over. I like this one which the best. Uh, you, this one, yeah. Um, you know, if, 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 but the problem is, is that sometimes scalpers will like double like, uh, everything. Yeah. It's like, oh my god, and then it's just like I can't do it, and I, and I refuse to do it. And I see a lot of that happening with uh, Grogu stuff. Mm. Like, I, I'll know something sells for like three dollars, and they've got it marked up to fifteen. I'm like, my god, because it's access, it's distribution, and unless you can get it, yeah. good luck. In, in a day and age of the internet, it just baffles me how distribution is still a problem, especially with traditional retailers. Especially, it's it's maddening. Honestly, very very frustrating. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you, I lucked into today. Oh yeah yeah. Oh, Perfect. I don't think your hands have ever smelled cleaner. Honestly, Perfect. I'm serious. I'm serious. I guess what I found what? over here. Like oh uh... yeah. How was that? Jen, I think she owns me. <laughs> uh, I'm on to you. There's a new wave of the vintage collection figures that are apparently now hitting stores. I got lucky with distribution this time around. Captain Rex is one such character, and you can come. Uh, you can come a little closer if yep. you want. Sure. You can get the full shot as you did, uh, and then you can. I'm a little closer to, to get the, the design oh, yeah. of the character. You see what I'm saying? The helmet. Yeah, as well as the uh, card art. Which I, I, you know, honestly, I, I trashed all my cards growing up. And yeah, I've, I've started to hold on to some of them, not all of them. Uh, I'm not sure yet if these are going to be openers or if I'm going to keep them on the card. Because with the Vintage Collection, I do like to get one or two of each. One to open, one to keep on the card. Uh, this is Moff Gideon. Yeah? Was I in the first season? Uh, Moff Gideon was, yes. Oh, and the second season. Uh, it comes with the dark saber, which is really cool. Well, was right it there. the first season or the next season? Uh, who? Moff Gideon? Yeah. He's in both seasons No, right but... Now. Like, when he did... <laughs> yeah, that was the first season, I think. Uh, this is I the Mandalorian, know. right? Din Djarin. Uh, now this is different from the the uh, graphite, uh, the carb uh, carbonated, the uh, carbonized. Is is that it? The graphite carbonized. There's so, so many different variations now. Uh, but this is the Mandalorian uh, vintage collection with Beskar armor. Uh, what's interesting about this, I found when opening the uh, the 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 carbonized version, is that the the rifle actually has a little uh, peg that you can insert into uh, on his, onto his back. Oh, cool. Yeah, which is really cool. Yeah. <clears throat> so this is, again, a part of the new wave uh, that, that will be getting released. I got lucky and found pretty much all of them. 
This is the next one. Uh, th the Mandalorian has a crunch on the corner, which I'm kind of sad to Dad? see. Yeah, honey. But um, um, this this Darth Vader also has a crunch, so I'm probably going to be opening both of them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. When was that Darth Vader showing up? Well, I'm glad you asked because this particular Darth Vader showed up in Rogue One. One. That's right. Rogue One. Rogue One. That's that particular Darth Vader. And yes, there are differences. I don't remember Rogue One. Darth yeah. Vader. Remember he's in the diaper tank? Diaper tank? Mm hmm. When he was in the diaper tank? Yeah, well, in Rogue One. When Krennic came to Mustafar. This is the armor. Uh, this, These are all three and three quarter inch scale. My favorite scale of all time. And uh, this one, again, was uh, found. Uh, they basically opened a, a box, which I, I would have. Wished I could have been there because I, I would have asked for the box. Dad, yeah. What does that say? And it says the armorer. That says the Mandalorian. That's what they call the seasons? Uh, well, I'm not sure if that's what they call the seasons. The that's what they call the show, yeah. Uh, this is the, the back of every one of them pretty much looks like that. So the previous wave and the current wave. This is, used to, this is how we used to know what we needed to collect. Like, <laughs> but the problem is, is that they can't get everything on one card anymore. They used to be able to. And I know why they do the whole, like, descriptions and, and the, Dad, the disclaimers and everything. One? Yeah, absolutely. So we can see how he diaper tank. Yep, for sure. Uh, so we get that from uh, the It's Not the Future bad lip reading song. Floating in the diaper tank. tank. It's not the future. Look, was in Darth Vader. No, but that was a different one. Honey, baby. So uh, the... Uh, uh, the idea of doing this would be better if it was like all over the back of the card. Like all over. But it isn't. I'll live. I will survive. As much as I... I okay, fine. Hang on. Since since everybody's asking, <laughs> uh, I'm going to open this Darth Vader. Oh, are you no! sure? <laughs> no! No going back. It was crunched. Oh, uh, yeah. There are people who do this very well. Like, they take it off perfectly, like John Adams from the Super Awesome Geek Show. John does it Adams! Really well. You met John? Yeah. Both of you did. Um, so, I might hold on to the card. I don't know, just for giggles. And definitely hold on to the figure. So, what's the difference? Ooh, wow! Difference between what? Honey? You said there's a difference between the Dark Vader's. Uh, it would probably be specifically like his, the way the, his uh, uh, cloak hangs over um, is uh, potentially um, the chest plate. I think has variations as well. Yeah, as helmets. I wish he... oh, Hang on, honey. Boots. Different boots. Uh, I don't. I don't know about different yeah. boots. Uh, but what's interesting about? Hang on, baby. Uh, what's interesting here? We've got a plastic cape, like a tu plastic tunic, but then a soft goods like cape, yeah. which is really nice. Okay, you want you want to play with them? Yeah. I want to oh. keep his lightsaber over here. It has red eyes. I, I could probably... Oh, it has you, red eyes. Th there oh, are definitely right. action figure collectors. It has red eyes. Oh, yeah. Uh, action figure collectors who could tell you, like, the definitive differences, but yeah. I know it, that's typically what it's boiled down to, uh, uh, small variations. Uh, but it's it's a new figure it's a, that I know of. It is, I've, I've not seen cool. in a super articulated version. You can open your cars if you want, honey. Um, in, in this particular version, this is this is nice. This is a good Vader. This is a really good Vader. Helmet sculpt is probably going to be different as well if that wasn't already noted. I think I'm going to keep the other ones on card just in case I find I can't find anything better. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to, for the remainder of this hour, because I think we're pushing it, uh, or pushing into it, I'm going to, here baby, here's all the Lego bricks over here. I'm pushing these things out of the way for the, a reason. Some of your old Darth Vader candy. I have no idea how old it is. Probably wasn't good to begin with. I'm, I want Diana to basically pan down, uh, and we're going to look at as as I promised. I think did, I think I kind of promised, although I don't know if it was a promise. Necessary. Hang on, honey, one sheet at a time. Uh, I, I talked about Garbage Pail Kids and how I needed to slot the latest uh, 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 the latest uh, series, the 35th anniversary, and I finally got around to it today. On top, this is not. A set of Garbage Pail Kids. This is actually Star Warped uh, Kids. Uh, these are not bootlegs, not licensed, but Mark Pingatori, and I, I, that's how I'm pronouncing his last name, is, is a GBK artist. Hang on, honey, we got to be careful, honey, because they, they have to 
get priority in terms of seeing. You get to see up close. They get to see whatever the camera shows. Mark does a series of like pop culture icons as Garbage Pail Kids. He he's a Garbage Pail Kids artist. He does a, I think a wonderful style. Honey, hang on, please. Uh, so uh, I I ended up getting the Star Warped Kids. Uh, this is the second series. I also had the first series. I got, but he he uh, the first series that I have. I, I'm not sure which binder is in. So I was just I was going I'm to show you these. Oh. Like you don't see like fair enough, fair enough. Uh, I'm not. I don't think I'm going to spend like a ton of time like on like every one of these sheets because there's a stack. Uh, but I, I definitely wanted to, to to show them because again I was slotting them today. Uh, some GPKs, even though these aren't GPKs, they will come with puzzle backs. And so what's nice about slotting them like this when they come, you know, nine like a, in a nine piece puzzle. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And feel free to get the full view too. It's like if a that's big not, card. Hang on, honey. Hang on. Wait a second. Yeah, so like, so that you get the full view of it. Uh, over here, these are licensed Garbage Pail Kids. They're, this series was only available online. I missed it, unfortunately. Uh, it's it's a take on one of the first non-sports or uh, top series that I ever saw. Baby, baby, sweetie, baby. honey, Jedi. Yeah. Remember, when we do this, mommy needs to concentrate and she needs to hold the camera. There's a lot of activities them, for you. We can make them dizzy. If I and, move and we, we got to try to keep it as stable as we can. Uh, so I, I missed the uh, I missed the online ordering for these of the hot rods, uh, but ended up uh, getting them on uh, on auction with a very little markup. So I was very very grateful for that. Uh, it was not a, a set that was released again in stores like in packs, uh, but I thought it was kind of uh, I thought it was kind of neat. Baby, sweetie, Jedi. Okay, so this is uh, the Garbage Pump Kids Crashers here reminding me of I want to call I want to say T Tops did something called hot rods uh, and so this is basically lampooning hot rods <laughs> decades later speaking of decades later 35 years ago garbage pill kids hit the airwaves so to speak and so this is uh, the uh, the 35th anniversary and I think a couple of uh, uh, I would call them chases midlife crisis was like a micro set You've got the base card set, and then these are tattoos. There were 10 tattoos. The only tattoos I think I've ever collected here, believe it or not. Uh, yeah, so uh, the thing I, I appreciated about the 35th anniversary set specifically, they're great art. I love, I, I love the art. That's the number one reason why I'm still a fan of Garbage Pail Kids. Um, but they went back in this series, and they, they added fun card backs because a lot of the card backs in previous releases – uh, were puzzle backs or they were just generic backs, uh, but they, they the backs of these uh, stickers uh, have more fun. So these happen to be like clipboards. So what's what's interesting about this the first uh, part of the series is that they are going back uh, or they're, they're fast forwarding 35 years from the time Joe Blow was a garbage pail kid, and they're saying where are they now effectively? Joe Blow was a pretty common one, and I want to say third series. It's 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 sometimes it's difficult to remember. Uh, there have been so many over the years, uh, or at least with the uh, um, uh, the original series stuff. Uh, there we we th we we held up a uh, crack jack uh, the other day as, on an acrylic split kit. Um, some of these they just they they've done like variations on the theme. So these they've been updated so that they're exploding with snot. And then I, it looks like the, you know on, on from here it looks like they're going 35 years into the future. So these are like I, I'd imagine these were in the past. These are updated. These are uh, 35 years into the future. So futuristic GPKs. There's some checklists and then reminiscent of the first series. There are uh, I'll flip to, uh, over here and, and show you this way. Um, th this reminds me of the backs on the first series, like the original series, first series of like certificates. This is, I, I love, I love when they do, I love when Tops does this. Uh, they, they've got the front, of course, the art, but then they do more, even more on the back. And they did a lot of that with the original series and then they got away from it in recent years, which is really disappointing. But as far as a series go, this is boffo. Like I'm really, really happy. This is probably one of my favorite newer series that I've seen produced um, in the past 35 years. So there's, you can see a lot of checklists here, but this is where it begins. And I, I think they did like a special GPK for each uh, 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 release. So it's starting with OS1, 
which was here, and then OS2. Sorry, that that's, may not make any sense, but as I flip through the pages here, uh, you'll, you, you might understand. They did a, a pair of cards, A and B, uh, for each particular release over the past 35 years, each seri official series release. And this is still the case. So I slot two in each, um, each of these, the A and the B variants. And the, the, the only difference between uh, the, the, the variants are basically the names. And if you've got a name, they've prob probably got a GPK for you. And at first I thought, well, are they doing, are these like uh, out, takes from each one or like you know delete like not produced from each of the series but i'm not sure if that that really made too much sense either way yeah this was a i think an amazing uh, series to go through and then uh, rounded out with another i, I think I, I don't know if it's a part of the base set but uh it, it looks like a, a, a garbage ball kit and a counterpart uh, for the remainder of them so yeah that that those were the garbage ball kids today Sorry, Diana, your, your hand's going to fall off. Thank you, Jedi, for being patient. I know this is not exactly as much fun for you or everybody as it is for me. But this is fun. I love doing it. I love seeing this stuff. I love collecting stuff. I love sharing that, you know, enthusiasm with everybody out there. It's what I enjoy talking about. If you want to talk about something, happy to talk about this. Sorry, that was a little emphatic. You are emphatic. I am. I'm very emphatic. Uh, where did that come from? What? I don't know either. That emphatic? this, I, it was very, oh. it was passionate, but for what reason? I don't know. I, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to reflect on that. Yeah. Yeah. Search that, deep. That, deep. No, don't down. search. That <laughs> that that's not something you do. You you don't want to search. Cause you let then, it come to you. Yes, it's got to come to me. Uh, all right, everybody. Thank you for tuning in for this vlogmas. Uh, it was merry as merry could be. We got to build a tree. We got to hang some ornaments. Jet Jet is now hooked on bad lip reading Star Wars songs. Amazing songs, really. Uh, and then I'm going to teach Diana about Action Fleet and Micro Machines. The, the little thing. I should not have done that. It's it, trust me. It's it's a whole world. Yay. They're small. It's a small yeah. world. It's a it's a small world. <laughs> uh, I love you. I, I just I just said it because it's the micro machines. Joke. Joke. I appreciate you. That was a joke, was it? Yeah. At this point, however, I'm going to leave you to your own devices, and may the force be with you. Yeah.